Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm just out for a walk in a housing estate in Dorset and I don't believe it. It's Victor Melju's house. But the Maldews didn't always live there. In series one, they lived in a different house. And that's the house which, at the beginning of series two, we learned had been demolished after someone put a firework through the wind, through the letterbox. Uh, the house caught fire, and then a hurricane destroyed the rest of it. Apparently, while it was on fire, um, instead of phoning the fire brigade, they accidentally phoned some orangutans who did their best to put the fire out. But unfortunately, it didn't work. So the Maldews moved to the other house. This is their first house. This is the Melju's house in series one. That could almost be uh, Mr. Swaney because of course he first meets Mr. Swaney with action for the elderly. Um, he gives him a lift to his new job interview when his car doesn't start. Um, so Mr. Swaney, although he became the next door neighbor in series two, he was featured in series one as well. Patrick and Pippa we'll get onto later. They weren't in series one, they didn't live next door to them. So that's the house. So various funny things happen like, um, it's where they ended up with a snake in their luggage. Uh, the monster raving loony party knocked on the door and um, they filmed a little film that and it was a man dressed as a bee. We had incidences like um, the man that was having an affair with Margaret um, and he went to sleep in the bedroom because, or in the lounge because they had the bed downstairs because they were having the bedroom done. The man they got in to do the decorating kept falling asleep. A lady was locked in the loft because um, Margaret kept leaving doors open and Victor found the door to the loft open so he came and closed it not realising there was an elderly lady up there and uh, what he thought were water hammers that bang 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 was actually the poor lady sort of saying help. Um, so all sorts of really quite amusing things like that happened there. We just got up the side um, there was one scene where Mrs Warboys, um, their friend who um, seemed to cause them quite a lot of trouble, but you know, well-meaning lady. He was cleaning, Victor was cleaning some graffiti off the side of the house and Margaret and um, Margaret and Mrs Warboys were in the back garden discussing various problems. Of course it's also in that back garden where Victor stands on a rake and it hits him in the face, he ends up in hospital and he thinks he's dead when a man who looks a bit like God leans over his bed. So all sorts of hilarious things happen there but as I said it all um, ended at the end of series one we never saw it again so let's go back to the house which is seen in most one foot in the grave episodes well having had a look at the Meldews first house we're now going to have a proper look at the house which was the Meldews residence for most of the series as we come along here these three-story houses sometimes make carry cameo appearances we'll come back to here there's something around there I want to show you that in relation to an episode. So the first house was in Pokesdown on the edge of Bournemouth. We're now in Hinton Admiral. But most of the show was filmed down here because of its favourable climate. But today it's a little bit windy, but it's a sunny day. Although I don't think it was actually set down here in Bournemouth stroke Dorset. It was, um, I think it was always implied, it was set in the home counties. There were mentions of places such as Purley, as we've already mentioned, Luton Airport and Finchley. Um, so it's implied, I think it was set in the home counties, but it was filmed in the county here. I don't think Victor will be very happy about that van being parked there. We'll have a look at the houses. So it's a terrace of four. The last one on the end didn't really play any part, although no, I think it did once. Um, interestingly, when you see, so that's, it's that one there, the one with the palm tree, when you look down the stairs, they show houses across the road, which there aren't, so that was, you know, um, they put them in there, because they also talk about Mr. and Mrs. Ellsbury, who lived across the road, who I think, I think it's them, but it's never actually made sure, when the Meldrews get burgled, he went to their house, to phone the police and it turned out that the, the if it was the Ellsbury's the people who lived there had actually helped the burglars not realizing they're burglars so that's the Meldrews house uh, Mr Swaney lived there and then of course on the end Victor's nemesis Patrick Trench and his wife Pippa lived now I mentioned earlier that Mr Swaney was in um, the first series and then he turned out living next door to him for most of it Mr Swaney did live there um, he did also move because what happened was well the way the um, 
Patrick and Pippa were introduced, and Victor was in the garden one day, and a car pulled up, and he sort of recognised them, and he said, "Oh, hello!" And they said, it, "He goes, it's, it's, and they said, it's Patrick and Pippa," and he mistook them for being relations. Invites them in, um, you know, sort of generally being nice and polite. So then Margaret comes home and uh, says, "Look what a surprise! Patrick and Pippa turned up." And Margaret's and him going to the kitchen, and she goes, "Well, who are they?" He says, "I don't know." And then. They were trying, they, they thought they were long distance relations who they hadn't seen for a long time. They were trying to get them to stay the night when it turned out they did only live next door. Then, of course, he became Victor's nemesis. Now, that all started in an episode where um, Pippa's father was, was in it. He was a vicar, but he ended up losing his faith. And they ordered a, a very, very expensive bottle of wine for him. The Meldridge mistook it for them, and they used it in some cooking. And um, in the same episode, a load of garden gnomes. Does anyone remember that? All these garden gnomes were here. And um, at the end, in, to get revenge for drinking um, the bottle of wine, Patrick shot all the garden gnomes. And that began the long-running feud that pretty much lasted for the rest of the series between the Meldews and the Trenches. And then, from then on, the Trenches are always trying to move on. Various things happen that put potential buyers off. Now, one of them was a really quite funny one. There's a lot of where words are mistaken for other words. So, they thought they were going to inherit a cot. It turned out they inherited a cow. Now, that cow... Made it was found in the Meldews back garden. The cow made its way into Patrick and Pippa's house just when they were showing some new buyers around. I think that episode was Beware the Trickster on the Roof. Now, I'm going to just walk around the estate because there's one part of that episode around here which again looks quite different to how it did in that. And um, basically, Patrick, I'm um, sorry, not Patrick, um, Nick Swainy next door gives them a paperweight with a scorpion in it, which is meant to be very bad luck. They get rid of it but, and um, they actually ended up winning it back in a prize so they're not very happy he gives it to a little old lady who collects um like the poles money um now the old lady she goes takes a shortcut down an alley now that scene happened just round here and um, there was a mugger on the loose you know aware that this little old lady was walking around with large sums of money and um she ends up um you think for a moment that the mugger has killed the old lady but it turns out the old lady has killed the mugger now that scene happened just see where that garden is there was like what appeared to be a little alleyway it isn't really an alleyway at all but it was done up as an alleyway and um, at that moment in time they're standing there talking and a furious Patrick comes running across the road uh, because you know a cow has just come into his house and put off some potential buyers so it's all really rather amusing and then the Pat, um, Patrick and Pippa do eventually move away they move to somewhere else let's go and have a look at that it's somewhere a bit further away from here so here we are we're in Greater London and we're going to go and find the house where Patrick and Pippa moved to and um, there were one or two other scenes which weren't filmed in the Bournemouth Christchurch Dorset area another one I can think of in the very last episode where Victor's sunbathing he's just put sun cream on and uh, he gets grass cuttings all over his face that was in the back garden of Pinewood Studios so that's an example of a scene filmed away from here anyway we're now in the London borough of Hillingdon and walking down this road now the way I found where Patrick and Pippa moved to was there's a scene from the episode The Dawn of Man they're coming along this road in a Mondeo taxi and as they passed this corner here there was a sign there that said Kilpatrick Way and I thought Kilpatrick Way surely that's a joke there um, it seems rather ironic well anyway I did a bit of looking around and here we are there is actually a road it's a real place Kilpatrick Way and this is the house where Patrick and Pippa moved to now it looks slightly different um, here that was the garage when it was in one friend of grave. It's been bricked up, it's been turned into a room. The garage is quite significant because in that episode, The Dawn of Man, where they got out that Mondeo taxi, he uh, pressed, it had an argument with the people who do, you know, the um, remote control garage door opening. It had an argument with those people. He presses the button to see if they've come and mended his garage door. And much to his annoyance, the front door opens up in the way an automatic garage door opens. I think that's one of the funniest scenes of you know the whole series and it's like that Patrick is starting to as uh, Pippa had already put it starting to turn into Victor Meldew. So that's Patrick and Pippa's house. Let's go back down to Dorset now.
back in Dorset, all sorts of things we know has happened on this estate um, with, you know, outside this house. Some of the most hilarious things. I, I think it is probably my favorite comedy of all time. Again, there's not a lamppost there, but there was one where a lamppost, a lorry smashed into a lamppost and the lamppost ended up going through the, the male Jew's bedroom window. They had to go to bed with a, a lamppost on in their bedroom window. Um, that, that was one of my funniest moments. There was one where he got a, a skip and in the morning he discovers a Citroen 2CV in the skip. I've already mentioned about the gnomes. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of them. There's one interesting one though. Oh, well, Mel, Victor's always very irritated by litter being dropped. You'll be pleased to know there isn't really any litter there today. There's one where there's two young mothers and they're just there throwing rubbish onto the lawn. Victor then it seems they live here in this end house. That's the time it's featured. Victor goes and puts all sorts of rubbish through their letterbox. Interestingly though, when Victor shouts out the window, there's any more crap you want to throw onto my lawn, he's actually in Patrick's house, even though, so that, that's a bit odd. That must, it's, um, yeah, he is, if you watch the episode, you'll see he's in the end bay window. Now, Mr. Swaney, he, he's really quite hilarious. I mean, there was a time once where he was doing archery, straight through, I think he was in the back garden, and he had the, um, the target here, and he was firing it through the house, and he was always uh, making up, you know, little bizarre games for his mother, who was bedridden. I think she eventually passed away, so he was quite, quite funny. Um, the fence opened, which was often much to Victor's annoyance, um, but he did generally become friends with Mr. Swaney. Um, but then what happened was, once Patrick and Pippa eventually moved out, a couple called the McVitties moved in, and um, the Maldews were doing their best, you know, to get on with them. They didn't want another feud until they ended up on the, going, mistakenly going to the same holiday, and um, Mr. McVitie got arrested when Victor accidentally kidnapped um, an Indian lady, a very wealthy businessman's mother. So it's all a bit of a disaster. And then it, it was found out that the McVitties moved away. In one of the, the last episode, the last time you see Patrick, um, sorry, no, the last time you see Nick Schwaney, it starts off that you find Schwaney is moving house. So he hugs Victor, they bump into each other in a shop and he says goodbye and let me know, you know, that kind of thing. Only to find the next day, He's actually moved in there. Apparently he'd always wanted the end terrace. So Mr. Swaney moved from there to there. So Mr. Swaney lived on both sides. Of course, Mrs. Warboy, she made numerous and um, rather hilarious, uh, you know, lots of things happen with her. Um, her last appearance was the one, again, another brilliant episode um, where it starts off as a theatre and they've got a young, attractive cleaner and she's trying to make a West End feel or like a West End show of Victor's life. And, um, Victor accidentally gets in the bath on top of Mrs. Warboys. And um, then Mrs. Warboys, they're downstairs having dinner and she finds a finger in her chip. Turned out it was the chip shop um, manager um, had had an argument with a woman he was having an affair with and it ended up in Mrs. Warboys chips. And then um, somehow Mrs. Warboys, it was due to a letter, he got Victor, it's very complicated, but he got Victor to write a letter um, saying he's fallen in love with this other lady, but after an intimate thing that happened and Mrs. Warboys being the nosy woman she was, she opened the letter and she thought it was about Victor and her and that was the last, oh and then in that episode he takes her to what he thought was a dentist, she gets um, some teeth tattooed onto her shoulder, so it's a re some really really bizarre things happen and I just love you know how all these things happen, there was in the last episode where they put a picture of my um, up for sale and it said that there was a, a tear by the eye, it was interpreted as a tear by the eye and the next morning all these people came to be healed. So lots of really hilarious things happened. As I say, I think it really is my favourite um, you know, comedy series of all time. So from outside Victor Meldrew's house, I'm really pleased to have finally come to visit this. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.